Good morning. Today we will take the second lesson in our syllabus. It's ordering and comparing natural numbers. First, we have to know how can we write the following sets using the listing method. The listing method to open braces and write the element inside the braces like any set. Number A. If I want to list the set of natural numbers less than 5. What is the natural number less than 5? It is 0, 1, 2, 3, and 4. Number B. The natural num numbers greater than 4 but less than 6. I have only one number greater than 4 and less than 6. Is 5. Now, what is the natural number between 9 over 3 and 15 over 3? As we said yesterday, 9 over 3, this is another sign of division. So I have to find the answer first. 9 divide 3 equal 3. And 15 divide 3 equal 5. What, the, what is the number between 3 and 5? Is 4. The last example we have, what is the least natural number that is greater than 8 but less than 16? Right. First, I have to find the numbers between 8 and 16 or greater than 8 and less than 16. They are 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. This is the numbers between 18 and 16. Which one is the least? The least number is 9. This is the least one. Okay. This is the listing method. Okay. Let's go to another point. How can we represent the following sets on the number line? The number line, it's a straight line. We put the numbers on it. But we have to make the equal distance between each two numbers. So I leave one centimeter between each two number. From zero to one, one centimeter. From one to two, one centimeter, and so on. I want to represent the natural number between two and four. What is the number between two and four? This is three. I will draw number line. And I will write the numbers start with zero because this is natural numbers. Start with zero. Tell any number I want. I have no end because this is a straight line. Then I want to graph number three on this line. So I will make a circle on number three like this. This is the graph or representing number three on the number line. Type. Another example. The counting numbers less than 6. Counting number, which starts with 1, not 0. So I will start with 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. This is the counting number less than 6. And I will draw the number line. I start with 0. And I make graph on numbers 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5 and join them together with line like this. Okay, number C. The even numbers between two and 10. What is the even numbers between two and 10? Four, six, and eight. This is an even numbers between two and 10. I will not take all the numbers between two and 10 because I want the even numbers only. Then I will draw a number line. I will graph four, six, and eight. Okay. Last example we have the set of natural numbers greater than or equal to five. Or equal to means I have to take number five with me not greater than 5 only. So I will take 5, start with 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, and so on. I have a lot of numbers greater than 5. I can't write all of them. 
So I will write or graph 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Then I will make an arrow or array without no end. This ray means I have no end. This is an infinite set. Okay, let's know together some subsets of, na of natural numbers or some subsets of n. First of all, let's remember together what is the set of natural numbers n equals 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and so on. The set of counting numbers c start with 1, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and so on. Okay, the set of even numbers, E for even, equals 0, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, and so on. The set of odd numbers, O equals 1, 3, 5, 7, 9, 11, and so on. The last subset we have, the prime numbers, or P equals 2, 3, 5, 7, 11, 13, 17, and so on. And as we know, all of them are in finite sets. Okay? So we don't have n. So we put dots like this. Your homework today from your booklet, page 4 and 5. Thank you.